So, I bought a Barbie. <laughs> Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna and today I'm going to share with you an entire Barbie outfit. So I bought myself a Barbie. I've been wanting to do this video for a very, very long time. I wanted to buy a Barbie to make little outfits for a very, very long time. When I was a little girl, I used to make little outfits for my Barbies, so little outfits for my Barbies, with the help of my auntie, my grandma, my mom. And let me know in the comments if you also used to make little outfits for your Barbies when you were a little kid, because me, my mom, my auntie and my grandma, we all did the same thing. We all really, really liked doing outfits for Barbies and dolls. So let me know in the comments if you did too. <laughs> when getting my Barbie, when choosing my Barbie, I wanted to get one that represented me as a person. So I wanted to get one that looked like me. This is not like exactly like me, but I think she could be my sister. <laughs> and also this is not the typical super skinny Barbie. This is the curvy one in which I'm so, so happy about it that I found it because I really wanted to get a curvy Barbie because I'm not skinny. And I wanted to get one that when making outfits, I could see myself wearing the outfit. So I got the curvy one. And this one here is the Barbie made to move. So she's perfect for posing. I also got myself a little posing. What is this called? I forgot, a little stand, posing stand for dolls and Barbies. So I'm going to be linking the Barbie and this little stand that I got in the description below. I got it from Amazon. Also, we have to name her. I'm not sure the name yet because I wanted to choose with you guys. So let me know in the comments some suggestions, what you think her name should be. Let's choose it together. And for the next video, when I show her again, we will have a name selected, okay? For now, let's just call her Barbie. <laughs> so I think I have mentioned everything that I wanted to mention here at the beginning of the video. So now I think we can do the unboxing together, shall we? Ah! And this is what you get, the Barbie. So no shoes, this is the outfit that you get. So you can see that she moves every part of her arm, the hands as well. Oh my goodness, look at the leg. Oh, that is so amazing. <laughs> and look at the foot. Oh my goodness. So cool, look at this. I love this Barbie so, so much. Her hair is really nice as well and soft. I cannot believe that I have a Barbie now. I'm so emotional. <laughs> I don't know why, but I wanna show you as well this little stand that I got. So this one that I got, I have three stands in total. So it's nice if you do amigurumis and you wanna kind of um, display them somewhere in a shelf or something like that. You have the base and then you have this little pole. You just insert right here into the base. And then this metal thing, you place it right inside the tube right here. And now here you have the option to move up or down. So you get the waist or the neck of your doll. And also her foot is actually straight. So I think she could actually freestand. No, <laughs> no way. This is incredible for Barbies. They never did this back in the days when I was a little girl. I always wanted them to <laughs> freestand. Now they do. So this is how the stand looks like, and you can see her better now when she's standing up. No way! Oh my goodness! This is actually the coolest thing ever. Let's pose her. Let's do a little posing. There you go. You have a little pose right there. That is really fun. Hello, everyone! <laughs> so now, after all the unboxing and my excitement we are going to be making a little outfit for her in today's video because i want to 
already do a little outfit. I'm going to be doing something a little bit easier because then I can focus more on another outfit next time uh, because I want to do a winter outfit, an entire winter outfit. So I'm going to then in another video just focus on a crochet outfit and I'll just talk, talk, talk about it because I get super excited and I have to share all my thoughts with you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a crochet dress. So I'm going to be planning the dress and then once I have the idea, I will be back and then the following clip is going to be me already doing the very first outfit for my Barbie. <laughs> a Barbie is a good idea for you to do little outfits because then if it looks good on her, it's going to look good on you. <laughs> you just have to make it bigger. So for this little dress, I'm going to be using the incredible Dhoni yarn by teslan.com. I love this yarn so, so much. And this one is 100% cotton. I'm going to then use a 3.5 millimeters hook, tapestry needle and a small pair of scissors. So it's going to be a puffed sleeve dress. It's going to be quite short and then tight around the chest area. So I'm going to be starting with the little sleeves. So I'm going to be starting with the slip knot. And then I'm going to be chaining seven. And then I'm going to be joining to that very first chain with a slip stitch. So we are going to now work around this little ring that we've created. So I'm going to be chaining three and this chain three will count as a stitch. And then into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch and which is here, you're going to be doing a double crochet. So we have the very first increase. So now go into the next chain and work two double crochets into the same chain and then you're going to be repeating the same all the way around. So two double crochets into every stitch around so you're going to be having 14 stitches around. So I got into the last one so I'm going to be doing two double crochets into the last stitch like so. So now all you have to do is to slip stitch into the chain three just like so to go up you are simply going to chain three in which is going to count as the very first stitch so now work one double crochet into the next stitch and then continue creating one double crochet all the way around into every stitch so as you can see I have now round two completed with the 14 stitches around. Now all you have to do is to slip stitch into the third chain, just like so. And now you're going to be repeating round two until you have the sizing of the sleeves you want. So I made in total five rounds for the sleeves. If you wanna make it long sleeves, then you just make more rounds. I am making three quarters sleeves. Make sure to just leave a little bit of yarn. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it, but if we have to do any sewings, I'm going to just leave a little bit more yarn here. So now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to fasten off and then I'm going to weave in the yarn that is here inside. So once you have one completed, go ahead and make a second one. So now I have both sleeves completed. So I'm going to put this aside and we are going to be making the bodice of the dress, the top of the dress. So I'm going to be doing the length of the top, five centimeters. So I'm going to be starting with a slip knot. And then I'm going to be chaining 11 
So to make the first row, skip the very first chain. That chain is not going to count as a stitch and then go into the following one, single crochet. And now you're going to single crochet all the way down. So we are going to be having 10 stitches going across. So you're going to chain one, it's not going to count as a stitch, and then turn project. And then we are going to be working back loop only all the way down. So into that very first stitch, back loop only, and then single crochet. And now you're going to back loop only, single crochet all the way down. When you get into the last one, do exactly the same. So back loop only and single crochet. Remember that we are not counting the chain one as a stitch. So now you want to make sure that you have 10 stitches going across. So now to go up, you're going to be repeating row number two. So chain one, turn project, single crochet, back loop only into the next 10 stitches. And then you're going to be repeating that until you have the amount of rows you need to go around your Barbie's chest. So let me show you how this is supposed to look like. So you're going to be putting around your Barbie, around the chest area. And this has to fit nicely around, just like so. So here I have the 18 rows now completed and it's going to measure without stretching 10 centimeters. And then the height, it's going to be five centimeters, as you can see. So we are going to be using this same yarn to create the skirt of the dress. So I'm going to be working into this side. So I'm going to be chaining two from where I left off. And then I'm going to bring the other side, find the very first stitch here on the other side, and then I'm going to slip stitch just like this. And now we are going to chain two and you want to make sure that you work on the right side and not the reverse. So I'm going to be turning and as you can see I have the chain to work and not this because if we work this way then the half double crochets that we are doing now will be on the reverse when we have the dress on the right side. So make sure that you are working next into the chains. So now find the very first chain and then work a half double crochet. So the chain two will not count as a stitch. And then go into the following chain and half double crochet. So now you're going to be working into the raw side all the way around, finding stitches and working half double crochets. And I'm going to be working 20 half double crochets into the raw edge going around. And then we are going to be having the two half double crochets that we've created on top of the chain two. So in total, we are going to be having 22 half double crochets into this very first round. So now I'm going to be making my last half double crochet. This one is number 22. So I'm going to be skipping the chain two and then finding that very first half double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch. So now we are going to be making some increases into the following round. So I'm going to be always starting with a chain of one in which is not going to count as a stitch. And then I'm going to be working a half double crochet into that very first half double crochet that we did the slip stitch. And now into the following one, we are going to create an increase. So it's going to be two half double crochets into the same stitch. And then one half double crochet into the following. And then two half double crochets into the next stitch. 
and that is the pattern repeat. And then repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end. So when you get at the end into the last one, has to be an increase. So work two half double crochets into the last stitch and then you go into a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. And for the following round, we are going to be having 33 half double crochets around. So now all I'm going to do is to create the length of the dress. And to do that, I'm just following the stitches that I have around. So I'm going to chain one and then half double crochet into that very first stitch where we did the slip stitch. And now I'm going to half double crochet all the way around into every stitch. So when you get at the end, half double crochet into the very last stitch. And I have here 33 stitches around. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. And now we can repeat round three until we have the length that we want for the dress. You can do mini, you can do long, you can do mid. It's going to be completely up to you. So I've just tried on the dress and it looks so cute. Check this out. And I've just pinned at the back so we can see. So this is the length that I'm going to be doing. It's quite a mini dress. So take two stitch markers and then you're going to mark two stitches here at the front. Because we are going to be creating kind of like a little strap so that we can secure the sleeves in place. So one here and one on this other side. So in total for the length of the dress, I did nine rounds. So once you have the length you want, we can now chain one and fasten off. And I'm going to be weaving this yarn in so that it's out of the way. And then we can move on into the next step. So make a slip knot. And then attach this yarn where you have the stitch marker. I'm going to be doing on this side. And then go into that little stitch. And then you go into pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two. So now you can go ahead and chain as many as you need to go from the front to the back over the shoulder. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm doing a chain of seven and then I'm going to be attaching to the back. It can be any stitch at the back you want. I'm doing right here. I'm attaching with a slip stitch and now I can chain one. I've already cut my yarn and now I can just fasten off. And now we can just weave in these two little ends inside the dress. And now I'm going to be repeating the same here to the other side. Here's another option that you have for this little dress. You can just leave with the little straps like this and you are done. Just weave in and add the lace at the back. So now we have to attach the sleeves going around this little channel that we've created here. So I did this side already, so I'm going to be doing this one with you. So use the yarn that you left on the sleeve. I'm going to be threading this yarn into my tapestry needle. And the bottom here has to match the bottom of the sleeves, so around here. So just match any stitch. I'm going to be sewing on the right side. So the dress is going to be on the right side. So choose one little stitch and then go through both. One here that is close to the yarn of the sleeves and one and that same one of the dress that we've chosen just to secure this yarn in place. So now you can choose if you want to go anti-clockwise or clockwise with, with your sewing. I'm going to go anti-clockwise. And we can just sew both together all the way around. 
And now you're going to choose one stitch of the sleeve and one of this area that we have to attach the sleeve in place. And then just sew the two stitches together like this. And now just go around until you get to the chain. When you get to the chain, you are going to be moving this yarn to the outside like this. And now you're just going to be putting the sleeve and the chain together. And now we can just sew the two. So find one little stitch of the chain and one of the sleeve and then sew the two together like this. And then repeat that until you have covered the entire chain. There we go, I got to the other side. Make sure that you don't do the sewing too tight. And now we just have the end here to sew. And now just continue getting one stitch of the dress and one of the sleeve and sewing it together. Now I have one last stitch here. So I'm gonna choose one last stitch of the dress and then sew that together. And now I'm gonna go through that one more time, leaving a little loop. Then I'm gonna go through the loop to fasten off like this. Now take this yarn to the inside and now we can weave in here on the reverse. Oh my goodness, the dress is now completed. So here's the back and here's the front. Oh, it looks the cutest thing. I was thinking of using just the yarn, but you can also do a chain if you want. So it's a little bit thicker. But I think I'm going to be using just the yarn by itself like this. So I'm going to go around here four times and let's hope that it's going to be enough. So one, two, three, and four, like this. So I'm gonna go from the top all the way to the bottom. So choose one stitch right at the top, move the yarn through that stitch. Now do the same to the other side. And now we can just crisscross all the way down. So I've just finished doing the lace here at the back and we can just fake a bow here at the back so that we know how much we have to cut. So the dress is now completed. This is how it looks like. It's looking so cute. This is the cutest thing ever. And you will not believe, but I made a tiny little bag to go with this dress and check this out. This is the cutest thing. <laughs> so let me show you how I did that. Oh my goodness. So easy and so cute. So make a slip knot and then chain four. So one, two, three, four. Keep that stitch in mind and then chain three, an extra three. So one, two, and three. And then into that chain in which is the fourth chain from the hook, work the very first double crochet. Hello, Lana. <laughs> and then double crochet all the way down. Also, you have to keep the stitch that you did, the double crochet, the very double crochet in mind. Because here we are going to be adding an increase. So you can place a stitch marker if you want into the 
very first stitch and then continue with the double crochets all the way down so we have five stitches in total now and the chain that we did here at the beginning counts as a stitch and then into that last one work two more double crochets into the last stitch so we are going to be having three double crochets here at the end now you're going to work on the other side of the stitch so we are going to be working around so go into the following stitch and then work a double crochet and then go into the following one work a double crochet and now into this one that we have the stitch marker you are going to be working two double crochets into the stitch so into this one work two double crochets so one and two find the th the chain go right on top into the third chain and then you go into slip stitch and now we have the base and all we have to do is to work around and around but before I do that I'm going to weave in this yarn so it's out of the way so we have 11 stitches going around so we have to make sure that we have 11 as we go up so I'm going to chain two and this chain two counts as a stitch so I'm going to be skipping the stitch that we did the slip stitch and then go into the following one because this is the second stitch and then work a double crochet and now I'm going to double crochet going all the way around and then I'm going to slip stitch into that chain two there we go the bag is growing <laughs> so now I'm going to be repeating round two one more time I am doing three rounds in total for my bag you can add more rounds if you want to make the bag longer but I'm going to stop here so now to make the strap you're going to chain as many as you want I'm going to be chaining 24 so now here I have my chain of 24 now choose one stitch on the opposite side and then you go into slip stitch chain one cut off the yarn fasten off and now you can weave this little tail in and now here's the bag now completed it's just the cutest thing ever and i have the white one as well so now we can try the outfit on so we have the dress and the bag check this out this is the cutest thing I can't <laughs> so I'm going to try the bag oh my goodness oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I love this <laughs> I think we made the cutest little dress ever check this out let's Let's give it a 360 because we have to see all the way around. So here's the back. <laughs> this little bag, I can't. Oh my God. I wasn't going to really appear at the end of the video, but we have to talk about this. So my Barbie, you don't understand the happiness I feel inside of me right now. I cannot even think right now. <laughs> so I've just finished the very first crochet outfit of my Barbie. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you like. Yes, it's so cute, right Lana? It's the cutest. Yeah! <laughs> I am sorry everyone, but this is not going to stop right here. I have so many more ideas that I want to share with you. 
crocheting little outfits, little accessories for Barbies. And I hope you like and I hope you join me in this journey because I had a lot of fun in today's video crocheting this and unboxing the Barbie and everything. So I really, really hope you, you guys have enjoyed and that you had fun as well watching today's video. And I hope you can make this little dress in the bag for your Barbies as well. So yeah, this is how you make this super cute outfit. And I cannot stop thinking about it. I'm like talking to you guys, but I'm thinking about this. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one and my journey with my new Barbie. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.